sudden cardiac arrest or sudden cardiac death is a growing problem in this country as people are living longer with, with increasing amounts of heart disease. It's something we see in people with sick hearts, but also people who, often, who have seemingly normal hearts but have minor genetic abnormalities with their hearts. Classically, this is treated with an implantable cardioverter defibrillator, or an ICD, which entails a decent-sized device that's largely a battery that's implanted under the skin, and this is connected up to wires that are screwed into the heart muscle on the inside of the heart. These devices have worked fantastically and saved lives, but they're not without their own problems. This is hardware that's living in somebody's body for years or decades. Sometimes the, the hardware can break down, and it's also a spot of irritation in the heart. It's a common site where infection can go, and infection inside the heart can be a life-threatening problem. When this has happened in the past, it's something that often requires the extraction of these devices. Once a device has been in the body for years, the body has grown around it, it's got scar tissue around it, and it re can require a laser, laser cutting tool, a laser lead extraction to get this out. This is another challenging and potentially risky procedure that a lot of my colleagues here at Penn are extremely skilled at, and Penn Medicine has become a referral center for taking these devices out. But we're excited now to have a recently approved technology that will hopefully obviate some of these problems. It's an entirely subcutaneous ICD system, which has nothing on the inside of the heart. It's a, a battery system that goes under the skin on the side of the chest with a single wire that runs up under the skin near the breastbone. This is outside of the heart and outside of the chest, so it requires a little bit higher energy, which is why it's something that required additional development. So it's a higher energy battery that's doing the work here. However, it still is able to monitor every single heartbeat that a patient has every day of the week, and it's there as an insurance policy, essentially. If a patient has a sudden arrhythmia that causes cardiac arrest, this device is there to charge up and save their lives. It's just recently been um, approved by the FDA, and we're ramping up our implantation here. We, had, we were extensively involved in the trials to approve this device at Penn Medicine, and as a result of that, we're beginning the early phases of the implantation.